Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to run through some of the emulator issues that are uh, faced with App Inventor 2. Um, so the first thing you need to make sure uh, to do is make sure that you have the most current version of the download of App Inventor 2. I will post that link in the description for anybody who needs it. Um, but particularly today what I want to focus on is the actual emulator. So once you've installed the, uh, in the executable file from the link that I've uh, posted, um, if you come here to AI Starter, and again, this icon automatically populates once you download the latest version of uh, App Inventor. And again, that's just the AI Starter right here. If you go to all programs, you should be able to find it there as well. Um, it'll bring up a black box, which is right here. And while you're in App Inventor, uh, you'll actually go to Connect, and you'll select Emulator. And it usually takes about 15 seconds or so for the emulator to work. If it does not work within the first, I would say, 15 to 20 seconds, I, I mean, sometimes on the longer end, you might have to go 30 seconds, um, then it just it flat out won't work. Uh, so you can see right now mine is taking a little bit. Um, and the issue here that it's facing is that, you know, because it's an executable file, um, every time you close it and you open it back up, sometimes when you close it, it, the entire application doesn't entirely shut down. So you end up in a point kind of like where I'm at right now where the emulator isn't starting. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Um, one quick thing that I'd like to note is that after you've installed the executable file, from the link that I posted in the description, you need to make sure that you've restarted your computer because I have found that sometimes that is the issue. So what I'm going to do here is uh, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and, and start my task manager. Okay, so what you can do is you can hold down Control, Alt, Delete, and you'll scroll all the way to the bottom where it says uh, Start Task Manager. And once you do that, it'll bring you to applications, which is right here. We don't care about that. We actually want to end the processes. So if you click on processes, you'll see this adb.exe. And this is actually the file that you want to end. So like I said, every time you close out of the emulator, you open it back up. Uh, sometimes this adb.exe doesn't end. And as a result, you kind of get this hanging that happens. So if you end the process, click OK and then you close your AI starter okay and now you go back to um, your AI starter you start it back up and once this shows you'll then go to connect and select emulator and then within about 15 to 20 seconds or so, or so the uh, emulator as you'll see will start pa popping back up so this just takes about a minute, and then everything will start working again. So again, two quick solutions. Go to uh, Windows Task Manager and end the file called adb.exe. And if you don't see that inside of your Task Manager, try your emulator again. If that doesn't work, you need to restart your computer, because that means that after your install, you never restarted it. And I hope this helps.